Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 27th of November 2024. A sucker for punishment. Here I am again playing, playing another game of Sudoku for just for you. Well for me as well of course. I do something during the daytime right? And something to keep out the uh, distressing news. Some possibly better news today although I would not I'm not sure how much uh, weight to place on this, but uh, a, a vaguely good story, or or, or not good story, but um, let's say uh, encouraging story, is that 44% of uh, climate scientists and researchers uh, po uh, polled believe that China could uh, uh, China's output of carbon dioxide could peak in 2025, and after thereafter. Uh, start to reduce. So if that turns out to be good, that's good news for everybody in the world. But um, it's only a prediction. So first of all, there's you know a doubt as to uh, whether predictions come true. And uh, secondly, I don't know much about this survey and what the questions asked were and whether they were reliable questions or not, and exactly how they arrived at these figures. Um, but anyway, as I say vaguely encouraging right and uh, apparently the uh, number of scientists who believe such a thing has doubled in a year so a year ago there were only 22 um, percent of people who thought that uh, china's co2 emissions would peak in 2025 and that's now 44 percent i think so there we are let's hope they are right and uh, that carbon dioxide emissions are on their way out across the globe of course, we have to deal with a new uh, idiocy in America first, but um, you know, most of the world is understanding how important it is to reduce our carbon and uh, try to slow global warming as best we can. We can't slow, we can't stop it, but we could try to slow it a little. All right, let's go on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Uh, I've got. Where did I see it? I just saw something, and it's. Where were you? Where did I see you? Here we go. Seven blocking down here and seven across here. We'll put sevens into those squares. Blocking across here. Seven blocking across here. Seven down will give us seven here. Seven up, seven down there. That's going to put seven into that square there. Seven across. Oh, I don't need that one. Seven up, seven down, seven across there. Okay. nine blocks down here and here and nine across there will give us nine in that square I can see a pair immediately I've got a pair of nine and eight here nine and eight there it's gonna give me a pair of nine and eight in those squares what does it mean uh, we got four seven don't know what it means <laughs> all right let's look at these squares that are not nine or eight they have to be well four is one of them so four blocking those two squares there so four is going to appear here nine and eight is here so this has to be five and six we've got six blocking down that'll give us six in that square five in that square Missing numbers in this column, one, four, six. We've got one and six together. That's going to be our four. Four blocking, oh, excuse me, I've got to do that right. Four blocking up here and four across here puts four into one of these two squares. Blocking down, four across there. It gives me a four in that square. Four across here, across here, and up there.
The only thing useful I've discovered are that twos are somewhere across there. Two blocking here. How are we doing down there? Two. Not sure. Okay. All right, let's uh, go numerically, shall we? Oh, okay. There was something else I can work out now. So the two blocking across here puts two in one of those squares blocking down here. So two is in one of these two squares blocking back. Two across there. That has to be a two. Now... Missing digits along here have to be 1 and 5. We've got 5 blocking here, so that's the 5. That's the 1. So we end up with 1, 6 down here. We know that that can't be 1, 6, but I see it could be 2 or 8, so we won't bother looking further for a unique rectangle or anything like that. Down here we're looking for a 2 and a 3. And this was 8 and 9, wasn't it? I worked out earlier before. And so this is not 8 or 9. It's got to be 4, 5, 7. And we've got 4, we've got 7. We don't know about the 5. Okay. We have one blocking this square, one blocking this square. Uh, so one is only allowed in one of these two squares here. We've got one blocking up here, one, one down here. Actually, we can place the one here. One is here. So one across here. So this has got to be digit one here. One this way, one that way, one that way. There's one. Two across here and two up here puts two into that square. Two across here, two across there puts two into that square. Two blocking this square, two blocking this square, this square, and this square will give us two here. Six blocking up here and across there gives me six in that square.
Uh, so we've actually got a pair of five and seven here. Five and seven across here, five and seven across here. So this is a pair of five and seven. Let's hope that gives me something else. Uh, five and seven. So what do we need? Three in those squares. Four in the same squares. Six there. Eight. Hmm. Uh, okay, so this is five and seven, so nine blocks up here, nine blocks across here, right? Nine has to be in one of these two squares there, blocking across here, and nine blocking up here will give us digit nine in that square there. This is five and seven. In these squares, we're looking for uh, two, three, eight. It's not good enough either. Um, two, three there, two, three there. Ah, oh, we've got eight here, eight up there. Thank goodness for that. And two up here puts the two here, and that's the three down there. Okay. And now we have one and two in those squares only. Well, actually, I can get this probably, can I? Oh, no, maybe not. One, two here, so this is... Three, six, eight. We've got six across there. So there's our six. And we're left with three, eight here. Well, that's right, because five, seven is there, isn't it? Yeah. Three, eight. So is that three, eight? It's got to be three, eight, three, eight, three, eight. This can't be three, eight. It might be worthwhile checking out. This square can't be three or eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, six. Could be, could be. Oh, hang on a second. We get a six here already. It's a six. There we go. Six down here. There's a six. There's a one. There's a one at the top. There's the two. Need a two in this block down here. One and two are both now finished. That's good. Let's see if we can do anything about the threes. Mm. Not sure. Four. Anything changed on four? Not sure. Five. Six. Any changes yet? Uh, n six blocking up here, up here across there across there we get our six there and now I remember nine we had nine I put nine in these two squares here didn't I this was five and seven so nine across here and nine up there that's going to be our nine nine to the bottom here down here across there there's our nine this is an eight eight blocking up here and up here but this is five and seven so that's got to be the location for eight Eight across here and across here. There's our eight, eight going up here. There's the eight. Last digit here is a three. Okay, we've got one, two, six, and eight already done. 
uh, and I think the rest of the dudes are going to fall pretty quickly. Uh, not the three, maybe. Let's move along and see about the four. Or the five. Uh, or maybe the seven. So come on, digit nine, don't let me down. Why have I still got a nine to go anyway? Nine across here, nine down. I thought I'd finished nines. I have now. Uh, so then we've got this threes and fives in a lot of different places, right? Uh, but anyway, good luck for us because we can find the five blocking here. So that gives me the five there and a three there. Uh, and then this is a five, right? There's the f five across here puts five into this square. Five back there puts five here. 5 up here, we remember we have 5 and 7 in those squares, there's the 5, there's the 7, 7 to the bottom here, there goes the 7, 5 to the bottom here, there's our 5, and the missing number here is a 3, and the missing number here is a 4, I think, and 4 blocks up there, so there's the 4, missing number here is a 3, missing number there's a 3, 3 blocking across there's a 3, and four says goodbye to the puzzle. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I might come back later after I've done some evening work. Um, let's hope so. See you around. Bye-bye.